Today we're going to take a look at the new 10 inch touchscreen for the primary display on the new CAT D1, D2, and D3. Let's take a look at some features on the new CAT D1, D2, and D3 in the settings area right here. Let's go in and see what's available to us to choose from. Here we have different selections we can use to control modulation for the implement control valve, which controls the blade, also your steering modulation for your left-hand joystick, and also auto tracks control. These things do not make the blade, for example, move any faster. It just determines how fast the machine will react to the operator's movement of the joystick. So normally it's going to come from the factory in the normal position. If you want to slow it down a little bit, you can press course and go back to the screen. But those are things the operator can do without the use of any off-board computer or service technician. Uh, also steering modulation, same thing. Automatic traction control. This is a feature we have on the new CAT D1, D2, and D3, which is standard equipment. It helps limit track slip, reducing our undercarriage wear, and also making the machine more productive because we're not wasting time spinning the track. However, if you're in a situation and you want to disable that feature, all you have to do is just press the button here on the right-hand side. You'll see an icon come up at the top that notifies you it's off key point to remember when you cut the machine off it will return back to the default on position when you go back to start the machine okay let's go back and look at some other uh, settings available we have some slope assist features where I can go in and change uh, the type of slope assist mode that I'm in whether it's indicate only basic or advanced okay um, also I have the base uh, capability to go in and uh, change how much I can increment or decrement my joystick controls on the right hand joystick and the amount of each step there. Uh, some other things that are very helpful especially with new operators let's say the display some things that we can do different to configure the display we can actually go in and change the type of language we want to use in this case we have English, but you can go in and uh, put in German, Spanish, whatever uh, language that you uh, are going to be using for the operator. It makes it a lot easier for that operator to use. You can change the brightness of the display uh, up and down. As far as night work, a lot of time road jobs these days are done with lights outside uh, during darkness. That's very helpful. You can go in and set the clock and also the night mode right here as I was talking about that's one you can go in and change. As we're getting more and more used to using different operators, different operating situations, sometimes it is very helpful to be able to identify the operator that's going to be using the machine that does two things. We can set the machine to operate to their preferences and also we can use that as security to be sure the right person is going to be operating that machine at the right time uh, to prevent any vandalism or whatnot. So we can actually go into that setting and go and set up a new operator as far as change operator, go through the thing, just give them a passcode and off and running uh, to operate the machine as an individual uh, identifier. If you have any questions about what we've talked about today on the Cat Small Dovers, please contact your local cat people.